Well, I had lunch with my dad and um, when we got out of there I felt this strange urge to go to Backlist. And I wasn't really planning on getting anything. I just wanted to, uh, you know, to go there and see if they had something. Uh, I guess I, I was thinking, well, if I end up buying something, I will, I won't be, I won't be surprised. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not surprised that I, that I ended up buying eight titles here, uh, eight titles for 99 crowns. Um, you know, I've been there so many times. Um, you know, getting movies from that deal f through the years, but. Pretty much each time I go there, they have something new that I really want. And this time, I mean, I easily picked... <sighs> well, now the battery is low. Gotta switch the battery pack. This happens every other time I film a video. I mean, literally every other time. This <laughs> is... Okay. Uh, but as I think I was saying, um, or like, like I was gonna say anyway, um, this, uh, this time I found... Easily found eight titles and... You know that I really wanted, and I could have actually probably picked another eight, um, but I decided that that's too much <laughs> uh, because I already have some stuff. And anyway, uh, but yeah, another eight titles here. So let's just see what I picked up. Uh, first up, we got uh, some butter. Yeah, I got that after. Anyway, for real this time. Um, North Face. Uh, they had this on Ginza. Uh, they have a bunch of movies for 10 crowns each uh, and this is 8 for 99 so not as cheap uh, and that one on Ginza is sealed as well but I think that might have been a Norwegian edition and this is a Swedish edition and you know being Swedish I guess I prefer that um, um, yeah and then of course there's shipping, shipping on Ginza too so unless I buy a lot of them then it's not really gonna be cheaper um, but yeah so North this is about takes place in 1936 it's about um, well during the or before the Olympic Games in Berlin Hitler wanted to show his muscle for the rest of the world uh, it says here on the back I, I loosely translate and it's about a few, a few people basically they're trying to climb this mountain and <laughs> you can see a Nazi flag there and I'm sure I'm sure that's a theme throughout as well, well it said Hitler on the back, so that's kind of obvious anyway. But, um, yeah, this mountain is called Eiger, apparently, or this part of the, mount the mountain in the Alps or whatever. But, yeah, so I, I actually, um, yeah, no, I, I said that. I, <laughs> I found this on Ginza, so I was, I was happy to find this in the store, and I'm looking forward to, get to this. this. This sounds pretty good. Um, then, next up, we got Pistvakt, <laughs> the complete series. This I was really happy to find. This is a Swedish comedy show that I've not... I've, I've seen a couple episodes. Well, now the mail arrived. Um, yeah, I've seen a couple episodes. I downloaded the show five, six, seven years ago. It's been, it's been, it's been a long time. Uh, and I only watched a couple of episodes because I wasn't... Well, I didn't love it, but, um, um, well, anyway, I, I think I might like it more now. And even if I won't, um, I'm really happy to have this on DVD and to find it for such a cheap price. So, yeah, peace to Wacht. Um, then, well, this was also a funny, or fun coincidence, whatever, The Missing with Kate Blanchett, Tom Lee Jones, Evan Rach Rachel Wood, and then maybe there's another name here <laughs> that came off easily, Aaron Eckhart, Val Kilmer. Uh, I was watching um, a video by Cinematic 77 uh, where he shows, he's, he goes through his DVD collection, I think it was in that video, yeah, I think, yeah I'm pretty sure, uh, he talked about this movie, the Missing, and he thought that this was uh, Ron Howard's best movie. And I looked it up, and I thought that it, is, yeah, it looked interesting. And that was, I think that was yesterday, actually. And I think that was yesterday, too, that I found that on Ginza. So that's kind of funny. Uh, so yeah, I was very, very happy to find this. <laughs> In backlist, these are used, uh, like I think I said when I talked about that. Um, they have, so, And they have lots and lots of DVDs, and they some, some of them they stack against the wall. And this one was like at the bottom, so it was kind of hard to get it out. I don't know why 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 I needed to mention that, but 
anyway and it's not not in a terrific condition perhaps but I can just switch the case uh, but yeah this should be uh, should be a good watch and then we got the double jeopardy I actually found this for 49 I wasn't gonna pay 49 but something about this intrigued me um, but then I found it for uh, 10 15 ish some, somewhere around there so that's much better uh, at the same store today um, but yeah Tommy Lee Jones again I don't <laughs> I've read the back kind of skimmed through the back but I, I, I don't remember or, or, I don't remember what, what this is about exactly um, oh yeah I kind of remember now a little bit anyway I don't know if this is gonna be good but uh, yeah uh, Clueless believe it or not I've not seen this but I've heard about it for years um, so I don't really have too much to say about it but you know, you know 90s teen movies I'm all for that I guess they're a lot of fun uh, Money Train yeah I don't know if I've heard too much about this before I feel like I kinda recognize the Wesley Snipes Woody Harrelson um, team team up duo whatever um, it just says action action on the back but since Woody Harrelson is in it could be action comedy looks like it could be a humorous body cop movie or body action movie but I don't know if it is it since it just says action uh, but either way I'm, I'm looking forward to watching it actually in a way I'm kinda hoping that the comedy will be absent or you know maybe some comic relief but I, I, I think I would prefer this to be you know pure action rather than action comedy I don't know uh, what it is but um, anyway <laughs> Then we got Clockwise with John Cleese. Not a very good looking cover, but I've been wanting to see this. Uh, actually, I took a, this is kind of random, but I, I took a walk um, two days ago, I think. Uh, and uh, I listened to a podcast with John Cleese. He was on the Nerdist podcast with uh, Chris Hardwick. And, um, well, that's really all I wanted to see. <laughs> There's no connection to that in this more than just John Cleese but John Cleese is, John Cleese is great uh, yeah clockwise on the disc here Swedish title is excuse me what time is it um, so anyway uh, yeah yeah I I don't know if I said this but I've been wanting to see this I have it on my Amazon wishlist been I, th I thought I've been thinking it looks I've th <laughs> grammar well fuck grammar I've thought that that this had looked it. <laughs> this looks interesting, and I've been interested in, in it for a while. Uh, anyway, okay, last one. Apparently, uh, "Tillfällig fru circus Swedish movie. This translates to "temporary." How do you? Pr well, it's temp seeking <laughs> seeking temporary wife. Um, I guess. Um, Gustav Hamastien, you might know him from Bruno um, and also from Together, the Swedish movie which has gotten some uh, international recognition uh, I actually saw, that I was there a while back, a, a couple of months ago I think and I saw this movie there and I didn't pick it up and I kind of reg regretted that afterwards and now I uh, was reminded of that when I saw it in the uh, one of the piles or one of the whatever on one of the shelves that they have there and uh, so I decided to pick this up I don't think it's gonna be great but uh, I usually enjoy these Swedish uh, romantic comedies so yeah that's the eight titles that I picked up today I thought that I found some really great stuff I mean really <laughs> um, yeah I'm really happy with these usually I find some good stuff but this time I think you know this is one of the better visits to backlist in a while actually and we got one little thing to open here. I well, I think I know what what this is. I just noticed or realized that I I always say that I think I know what this is. I should really stop that. It's, it's getting kind of annoying. But let's see. Well, you know what? I was actually wrong. This didn't feel like a Blu-ray. It felt big enough to be a DVD, but it's not. It's actually Rain of Fire with Matthew McConaughey and Christian Bale. 
Um, I don't know if I remember correctly. I think it might have been uh, Sarah 1228. I think the numbers are. She talked about this. Unless it might have been someone else, but I, f I think it might have. I think it might have been her. Um, and it sounded li sounded like fuck. Shut the fuck up. It sounded like um, an interesting movie, or interesting. It sounded it sounded like a very fun movie. Uh, I suppose I didn't I didn't really know this or I didn't realize this until this movie until I realized that this movie sound, sounded very interesting if that makes made sense uh, but uh, the thing that I re realized is that uh, the thing that I realized that I didn't know that I had was well I must I must have a fascination for dragons because that's really the only thing only reason why I bought this and I didn't think that I I did but uh <laughs> Yeah, it, it. I mean, th there were some. I mean, there's a dragon there, and I saw a few screenshots or whatever of the, from the movie, and it just um, they, they looked. The dragons looked very realistic, and well, I I think if it wasn't for the dragons, then I maybe wouldn't have picked this up. But uh, yeah, it it looks like a very entertaining movie. So there you go. So I got one more thing to open here just got home and this was waiting for me and that is always a nice this is Top Gear the challenges number five so I have a box set with, with uh, the challenges one to four uh, and I've had that for a while and I really I do enjoy these but mainly I enjoy the great great adventures and I was happy to find out um, through Amazon I was browsing and I saw that something called the Pat Patagonia special will be released in February which is a new great adventure, whatever, uh, from Top Gear. So I will be getting that for sure. Um, but I do enjoy these as well. Um, but it did take me a while to get this fifth one because, well, I perhaps don't enjoy them as much. Um, but yeah, they're a lot of fun to watch. Um, even though I, I'm not a fan of cars, I'm not, I'm not interested in that. <laughs> Yeah, I say that every time I buy something from Top Gear, but I feel like it's always relevant because it is kind of weird that I buy all of these Top Gear DVDs when I have no interest in cars whatsoever. But they're very entertaining and I love watching stuff that is just purely entertaining. It's not really educational for me because I don't learn anything from this. <laughs> I don't remember anything about the cars or whatever. Very little, maybe, but that's not why I watch it. I just think it's a lot of fun. So yeah, Top Gear The Challenges 5, I will be enjoying this one a lot, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> so, yeah. Does this bag look familiar? Well, it should, if you've been watching lately, because this is, has become one of, the, one of the places where, yeah, I, I get a lot of my DVDs. I mean, one of the places where I get most the most amount of movies. I'd say lately, over the past few weeks, maybe it's the number one place in terms of amount of titles that I get. I don't know for sure, but <laughs> I, I just know that I've been going to this place a lot. And I, I always seem to find stuff. Today I could have picked up lots of lots of titles that looked pretty interesting, but I um, only picked up a few. Well, I, I picked up like six, I think. So still, not a bad haul, I, I think. You know, when, when you don't when you haven't really planned on buying anything. Well, that's not true. I, I did, did actually kind of plan on buying one thing in here and I'll I'll get to that, but let's start with Vertical Limit. Uh, yeah, uh, it, you know, immediately <laughs> Vertical Limit, there's a picture of a helicopter, there's a picture of an iceberg or a, a mount, mountain top, what, what do you call them? Uh, well, you know, you, you can see what it is. Uh, the word escapes me of some reason, but um, yeah, it just looked like a very entertaining movie. So, and I, I do like Bill Paxton. Um, not too sure about the other actors. I think she's Swedish, um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it looks yeah, it looks entertaining. I had never heard of it before. Uh, the Fabulous Baker Boys. This one I, I, I looked at when I was there last time actually, but I decided not to pick it up. But this time I... 
I kind of regret, regretted, it, re regretted it last time in a way. So I made made up for that this time. Uh, but it stars Jeff Bridges and Bo Bridges and their brothers in real life, as well as Michelle Pfeiffer. Uh, but I especially like Jeff Bridges. But it's cool that it, it stars both Jeff and Bo, and they play brothers in the movie as well. Uh, and then we have Feast of Love which I mainly bought because of this guy right here but I also do like Greg Kinnear and uh, this says it says that it's by from the um, uh, Robert Benton re re uh, directed it and he won an Oscar for Kramer vs. Kramer this is a much later movie than that, this is from 2007 and Kramer vs. Kramer must have been th 25 years earlier um, and I, I don't think I've heard of this before um, but uh, yeah. Uh, för kärleken. I don't know what the English title of this is. It means for love, um, and I recognize the cover. I especially know about this movie because Danny Glover is in it. It's a Swedish movie, and you can see the cast there. Um, but for some reason, uh, Danny Glover is in this. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, when Chevy Chase was in uh, a Swedish sitcom called Help, he said that that was because, well, I'm not getting any work in America anyway, and that was before commu Community, I think, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if there's something similar going on here that Danny Glover, he had a hard time getting work in the US, so he took this role, I don't know, but apparently it's about five people uh, you know, it's a story where we follow five people during a normal day, uh, and yeah, and their paths cross. I I think so. Yeah, and then we got. I don't know what the English title of this is. I actually don't even know um, what country this movie is from, but it says by these two people look they looks like it could be uh, French based on their names but it it might not be I, I don't know uh, but I'll, I'll add uh, add that here in, in some text uh, but yeah <laughs> this looks uh, it says on the back that well they describe it as a mixture of Jacques Tati and Karusmäki I think that's well, it's a Finnish uh, pretty famous filmmaker. I've not seen any, any of his movies, but I would like to. Um, so I don't know exactly what type of movies he makes. I think some sort of black comedy usually, or dra black drama comedies, I don't know. Uh, but this looks, uh, it looked interesting. And then the last one is a sitcom, both, you know, the, the complete first and second series of Phoenix Nights. Peter Case, Phoenix Knight. I had never heard of this before. I mean, I, I have seen it around, or I've seen it on at MIOS when I've been there the last few times. Never picked it up, and apparently no one else has either. But I decided to finally, finally look it up online to see what it was, if it was maybe worth picking up. And uh, some there seems to be a lot of people who, um, who likes uh, this sitcom or this comedy show. And also, I paid, I paid tw uh, 10 for all of these and uh, 20 for this and on Amazon um, a used copy is you know you, you have to pay like well this is 20 crowns and in crowns you, you would have to pay like 250 or 230 something like that for this uh, which I would never have done but um, I thought that well since it is that expensive on Amazon seems to be out of print and pretty hard to find for a good price I you know might might as well grab this, and who knows, it might be good. Um, I can, you know, just let you read there if you want to. Um, but yeah, I, I really don't know what what it is, to be honest, uh, more than a comedy show. But I I would I, I will probably enjoy it. If I won't, then it's not a big deal. So yeah, that's it, and that's also the end of the video because I have enough for this one. <laughs> Um, so yeah, thank you for watching.